Hello everyone. Today we are going to unbox this beauty which is called Panasonic Lumix GX80. It's called so in Europe here. In America it's called GX85. In Japan it is GX7 Mark II. The same camera, three different names. And I just received this box with this beauty inside and this camera is a killer. We will talk a little bit about the pros and cons of this camera but it is hugely popular right now and the model is not new anymore in 2019 so it's very often on sale you can get it still new otherwise there is always option to uh, receive a used model used camera if you get it or bought it as a used one there is another video on this channel which is revealing you how to discover the shutter count of this camera so that you know how many times it was used how many photos were taken uh, with the camera very useful to know and now we are switching back to the newly arrived um, Lumix GX80 uh, or 85 let's uh, well let's just at first let's ex uh, observe how the box uh, looks like this is the front side of the box there are some highlights listed here um, on the box itself this is how the camera looks like uh, I have received this camera to get together with the lens which is coming with the camera as a standard lens, as a kit lens. It's a zoom lens. Uh, here's the left side of the box. Some description in uh, several languages. Here are the serial numbers of the equipment, of the camera body and the lens. Here are so, some more highlights. Let's just quickly go through. So the camera has a 16 megapixel sensor. This is the amount of points um, of the viewfinder and also the monitor, I guess. No, here is the monitor. There are 1 million points dots on the LCD monitor here. And there is this something about the autofocus uh, technology it's a contrast autofocus uh, it has a double stabilization uh, one is inside in the body of the camera another one is in the lenses if you use this kit lens or any other stabilized uh, lens otherwise if you're using non-stabilized lens what is f happening frequently with, with the fixed focus lenses then it's just only in body stabilization. It has a touch screen and some kind of low light uh, autofocus performance, time lapse function, a light composition, whatever it is, I don't really know what it is, 4K uh, live cropping, and a panorama function, and it has a wireless technology inside, so you can connect with your smartphone to the camera through the application which Panasonic provides and do some interesting stuff with this remotely. And this is the bottom of the camera and this is the back. No, this is actually the front. This is this was the back where all the interesting features are listed of this camera. Okay. Now let's open the box. It was never opened before, at least so I believe. Here are some documentation, probably some warranty information. We are here in Germany, so the first sheet is in German. There is an English version and probably several other languages if you are uh, yeah, if you're willing to read it. Good luck with this. We will move forward here some additional uh, items are listed which you can optionally buy if you want we don't have any of them right here 
and this is the camera itself it's packed in this fabric white fabric let's take it out of this fabric and here it is So the lens is already attached to the camera. It is not very usual with, um, with, uh, for cameras with this separable uh, lenses. Most of the times they are being shipped uh, separately in the same, still in the same box, but uh, separately packaged. In this case, and this is something what also different to, for this camera, it's shipped everything is already attached and uh, you can of course detach let's let's detach the lens you have to push this button here if you don't know it already push it here and just oh it was yeah so basically i what i did right now i just uh, unlocked the the zoom lens it was I should grab a little bit closer to the camera camera body and then start to um, scroll to in in the left uh, to the left uh, counter clockwise direction and here it is here's the lens here's the camera body if you ordered just there is there are different kind of packaging or different Compo composition of these cameras and lenses. So the basic one is without any lens. If you order it without lens, it will arrive probably something like this. And I would expect a cap here, um, body cap, so that the sensor is protected. This is, I guess, no, this is not the sensor. This is the shutter which closes the sensor. Behind this shutter, um, behind this curtain there is a sensor hidden so it's protected right now but uh, for the protection they will also deliver a plastic cap on top and this is how the camera looks like from the back and it has a movable screen here it's not fully articulating you cannot uh, I guess you cannot watch your, uh, film yourself and watch um, uh, watch the screen while doing it. You cannot really um, put it on a, to the front. You know this is. But if you have some very low angle, angle you can use. You can tilt it, and uh, it will be much easier to take a shot or film a video. This is a. Viewfinder, electronic viewfinder right here on the top left side and it has this sensor here whenever you come closer it's if in it's it is in the automatic mode it will basically turn off turn off this big screen and turn on the uh, viewfinder internal viewfinder it's very handy comes very handy you know and this is the button of the cam the battery is not inside it's somewhere there still in the box and here this is the place where you have to insert your memory card this has the buttons control buttons right here There's the control wheel here it's also pressable there are some functions hidden behind this press and um, this is the uh, mode dial it's by default it's in p in the p mode but you can switch it to any other mode and this is a release button here right here on top and around the release button there is another scroll wheel goes in any direction the if you are surprised that there is no uh, flash here, flashlight inside, um, it is there, it's hidden right here, and you can open it by pressing this button here. Oh, it even works without power, interestingly, so it's a 
mechanic, mechanical closing uh, and it works anytime whenever you really press it. It's a mechanical button like this. Very cool. And you can actually, it's a trick, you can tilt this uh, flash to the top. Yeah, pretty much only to the top. If if you are getting too much light out of it. Basically, if you don't want direct shadows on your object, you can tilt it a little bit to the top so that it will, uh, especially when you are indoors, it will uh, create this flash and the flash, uh, the light will be bounced from the uh, tailing back to the object and it has just a special effect uh, on your picture. You can try it out. This is a hot shoe. You can attach some external equipment here, like external flash, for example, stroboscope. Yeah, this is the body, camera body. Looks good. It's, it's a compact. I have middle-sized hands and it feels really, really very nice. Uh, very comfy and uh, there is this piece here which just allows you to grip the camera in a in a really very secure way. What I do also here with this kind of cameras, I always remove this this part. I'm not normally wearing any uh, any stripes or anything here, uh, but be careful if you are doing it like me because your camera can easily drop. Always put it back in the back if you don't need it at the moment. Okay, this is. Uh, we are done so far with the body itself. Let's talk a little bit about the lens. It is 12 to 32 millimeter lens and the F number is here it's from 3.5 to 5.6. Um, it is really very compact. If you compare to similar entry levels, um, level uh, uh, lenses, they are way, way more longer. And uh, this one is really made to be really very compact, especially for this kind of cameras. Just whenever it, it's attached to the camera body, it looks really, really very compact. You can basically put it in a small bag and that's it. This is your whole equipment. Uh, the cameras like this, these compact cameras like this, are intended to be carried around all the time, like or most of the times. So it, it's just not really big. You can put it in the bag. I would recommend to a separate bag for the camera itself, not that, that you don't scratch the screen or just the camera or the monitor here and then put it in the bigger bag with your with the rest of your stuff uh, but you can carry it around all the time it's not really very heavy and what uh, what else i mean it's it's also great for street photography whenever you are practicing street photography trying out it's also good it's it has this kind of low profile and i it's not the first camera of this model which i got and whenever i took photos it nobody actually looked at me. I mean, when, I, when I have my DSLR camera, camera and taking pictures, it, at first it makes some noise and with this camera, it's an important thing, you can completely uh, switch to the silent mode. Uh, so the silent mode uses only the electronic shutter and it produces virtually no sound whenever it takes pictures or videos or what, whatever. And in this silent mode, you just it, you just take a photo, nobody is really actually looking at you and it's uh, it's very, very practical in many, many situations. Okay, just I want to mention a couple of pros and cons of this camera. Um, one huge advantage of this camera, it's ultra compact. And also the lens which is delivered with the camera, this basic standard lens, is also very small and designed to be really small. If you have a choice to 
order the camera body only or order it with the lens together with this lens and the price difference is not uh, difference is not that huge and you don't have this lens or you, you just don't have anything else yeah, I would always always recommend it to take it as a set because the pr additional price for the whole thing for the whole kit is normally not really much much more than the only the body itself so uh, yeah I will be using this camera pretty much uh, frequently with this lens but I also have some several fixed focus length uh, length uh, lenses like for example this one it's 25 millimeter very strong lens with very powerful with with the f number of 1.7 you can take a very nice uh, portrait for, uh, pictures or landscape or actually whatever you want and it perform, performs really well in the low light situations um, the link to this um, and I would always recommend it's also very uh, on budget this uh, lens doesn't cost really much it's somewhere between 100 to 200 dollars and it is a Panasonic lens and especially intended for the micro four, uh, four thirds uh, system uh, the link you will find in the description below and uh, I highly highly recommend this lens I'm using it most of the times with my micro four thirds cameras and very satisfied with it and it's really very cheap if you compare the performance to the price okay so it's very compact the camera itself and the delivered uh, lens as well the price right now in the middle of 2019 is very low for this camera it is somewhere you can get it as low as for 400 uh, dollars or euros it's nearly the same they are often on sale keep an eye on this camera if you want to get it just uh, monitor it from time to time it can uh, get really cheap and then you can grab it so the price is low and another advantage of this camera is this in body stabilization image stabilization basically also this lens has its own stabilization optical stabilization and the whole kit has a double kind of how they call it let's have a look they call it dual IS image stabilizer here right here so it's kind of two times the stabilization what is really great uh, when you're on the move especially when you're um, taking some videos with this camera or shooting some b-roll or whatever you know just on the move maybe slowly it really does a great job uh, stabilizing the whole picture especially when you use both the stabilized lens and this body which already have uh, stabilization inside this is a huge advantage of this little tiny cute guy okay so but there are also a couple of disadvantages to this camera I mean for some people it will be a kind of huge thing for some people will be not so critical this camera doesn't have a um, microphone microphone input here if you right now for example I'm filming this video with a camera it is a G7 Panasonic Lumix G7 or sometimes called G70 in some regions it has an uh, microphone input and I'm using a lavalier microphone to record my voice it will not be possible with this camera but then you can you can uh, either use uh, the internal microphone which is kind of also good but not as good uh, or or you can use an external recorder which is also a good option anyways if you are very much into video recording and movies and video production I would also recommend to get a audio rec professional kind of or semi-professional um, audio recorder it can help you in many many um, other situations and then you can 
put together uh, separately recorded voice and with this kind of audio recorders they almost always have a micro microphone jack so you can uh, use any kind of external microphone to record your voice on the recorder and then put it together with the video and that's here, here you have it a uh, good sounding audio and also a good picture okay and another disadvantage which I want to mention this screen here it is tilting but it is unfortunately not fully articulating as I told you before you cannot really film yourself if you are in front of the camera the best place to be with this camera for you is behind the camera because then you will see the picture there are some workarounds you can use but um, yeah basically for filming myself I just use another camera which have a fully articulating uh, screen for example this G7 or G70 has this screen and in this case it's only this is the widest uh, angle you can go with this screen like this so basically if you are putting your camera to the bottom you can see from the top the picture pretty nicely because you just tilted your screen to the top uh, to the bottom it is this angle you can get if you are if there is a crowd and you are filming something filming a video or taking a picture and you just stretching out your hands to the top this is the angle you can still see nicely your picture whenever you are taking it or controlling the Im image recording so that's it that's it for, for to the dis disadvantages I, I counted two and uh, maybe there are more I don't know but I'm really before I was using so frequently this camera and now when we have unpacked a new model a new camera I will be using it also much more often than the other cameras because it's so compact and the interesting thing here whenever you shake camera like this for example you will feel some movement inside don't be surprised everything is okay your camera is not broken this is just um, internal image stabilization just uh, you know shaking there yeah it is still in the body so it was not the lens the lens is actually yeah it, it is also shaking a little bit could be uh, the image stabilization of the lens or some some play in the lens but it's all okay don't be worried about it because first time when I kind of felt this shaking I thought like okay what's going on there something broken no this is the system which is five axis stabilization which is going on somewhere here near the sensor it's okay there is no battery right now and uh, it's not working but it has kind some kind of freedom uh, when it hangs there so it's shaking whenever you shake the camera you can feel it okay let's check what's still and I'm sorry if this video is just too long for you but you know I didn't want just to unbox this video so lastly I wanted also to share you my experience so far with the camera and uh, tell you a little bit about the camera itself this is the strap I'm not using them but thank you for giving it to me and this is a USB micro USB cable which I have probably thousands of them already and this is the European uh, power supply which we get, which we got um, actually in Europe they have different systems as well but this one is pretty popular I would say and the power supply has an USB output basically what you have to do you have to attach your USB cable this big end to the right here to this hole and then you will get your power here at this end and this end this is interesting I will tell you a couple of words about it this end you have to attach to your camera body 
will tell you a couple of words about the charging of this of this cool camera. This is the battery itself. By the way, we haven't used a knife uh, so far. This is the right time to use it. Great. Okay, this is the battery. It is, I'm trying to find the model name of the battery because different cameras or even uh, within one Panasonic family they still have different batteries for every single model and in this case I think I cannot really find it I will figure it out and write it here below what's the name of the anyways it just uh, has this uh, 7.2 volts and 1025 micro ampere hours I guess um, and 7.4 watt hours okay this is the battery it goes right here your SD memory card goes right here that's it now you're ready to go almost Okay, I will tell you a couple of words uh, still about the uh, charging of this camera. What is really, really interesting because normally what you get with this kind of cameras which have detachable um, lenses, you get a separately, a separately a charger where you put your battery inside and you can char charge your battery separately. You just put it in, into a charger and uh, charge the battery. In this case, there is no charger attached here, right here. As a box, you see the box is already empty. There is no charger. So, I don't know, is it good or bad, but um, this is how it is. What you have to do, you have to put this uh, power supply this charger to the to the socket power socket attach the USB cable then put your USB cable right here in this hole you see to this um, to the to the hole on the right side it's a USB charging and then the camera get will get the power from the USB cord USB cable and will actually charge your battery so it is pretty much the only way alternatively you can try to get a separate separately a charger for this battery I don't know if Panasonic provides one could be that they also sell separately this battery charger for this model if I will find it out, I will put the model name here or in, in the description section of the video. Otherwise, you can, if Panasonic doesn't provide anything like this, I'm pretty, sorry, I'm pretty sure you will be able to get a third party one from a third party manufacturer somewhere um, of the eBay or Amazon or somewhere else. And if, especially if you are planning to have to carry around several batteries, I would then, in this case, I would really strongly recommend to get an external charger for this camera. This is the special thing about the camera, this thingy with the external charger, you have to know it. It's not delivered. If you receive the package and there is no inside and no charger inside, don't be surprised. This is a this is not the bug, this is the feature. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. You know, you will also, because the screen, um, not the screen, but the lens is already attached to the camera body when it's, uh, when it's delivered. You will not get, in this setup, you will not get the body cap here. It will be not included. 
you can I guess get it separately if you need one or if you're ordering only the body pro most probably they will deliver a cap I hope so would be stupid not to do this and when it comes to the lens the only thing you will receive to protect the lens is this lens lens cap but um, nothing for the back of the lens to normally you would have a cap here on the back as well to close this kind of this side it's not there in this setup it's not there most probably you can um, so basically this um, back caps in the micro four thirds system they're all pretty much intercha uh, interchangeable it means you can take a cap from one lens and put it on another lens it should fit perfectly so if you have already a couple of caps from other lenses because you will not be like simultaneously um, storing all the lenses at least one you have to attach to the camera body and in my case I'm attaching this 25 millimeter lens right now so basically when I want to use this lens I would put a cap from this lens to this lens to protect it we have unboxed this camera now and uh, I tried to explain you as good as I can what's going on there the situation with the charger and also attached lens uh, to the camera body that it's delivered together it's very specific to this camera model or to this uh, delivered setup and if you enjoy this kind of videos and want to see further videos please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press this bell button as well to get the updates Otherwise, if you like it, just give me a like and let's stay in touch and I wish you a great time with your new Lumix GX80 or GX85 camera. Take great pictures and videos. Bye bye.